Are you ready for the greatest bundle ever? This is the Video Essentials Bundle, and let me tell you, we have packed everything in here. Go to your Create tab. If you haven't already been added as a collaborator, leave your username in the comments and we'll add you as a collaborator to the world. You're gonna see the Video Essentials Bundle eye icon on it. Then go to the three dot icon and you can click Import World. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now the world is importing. Here we have it. And this is a clean world. You don't have to worry about any like space junk or anything. This world will only import the published version of the world. So we don't need to worry about anything. Okay, so with that, we've got a little sky block here. We've got our spawn point here. We've got all of these scripts. And boy, oh boy, is there a lot to go through. We're gonna start with some awesome things. The first thing you need to know about importing worlds and importing objects is that things can sometimes get lost in translation. Like, look at these guys. They're like, sometimes scripted objects just are a little bit buggy. So you just need to click them one time and that will bring them back. And we'll just drag our hand through here, do the same thing with our microphone here. Before we look at all these amazing scripts, let's start with this amazing artwork by Merck has put together some of the best assets here. We have some like really good examples of what planks look like. You can see with align to texture turned on, you get these identical looking planks. If you turn it off, you get unique shapes, but they're also like, you can see the grains connecting. Very cool. Over here, we have these crystals and a few different types of crystals you might want to look at. Super cool. Here we've got trees. So obviously some of this stuff you just like scale, like these trees, you can just scale them to make them the right size. You can adjust them, edit them to your liking. These are some really cool trees though i mean look at this detail it's awesome and look at this fan it even spins so cool look at that this is you know you basically have a living room right here uh we've got this awesome pink couch we've got this really cool plant this window my goodness look at this window it is so cool you can like you know look at that wow i uh, merc does a great job with windows and here we've got some examples of how to make text objects and make them like out of objects. So you can see it takes the text, puts it behind it, and then scales the objects to fill up the space. Whoa, is that a flying toy? Oh my goodness. Index trigger to move, Y and B to increase speed, X and A to decrease speed. Press trigger. Okay, nice. Let's increase the speed. I'm pressing the Y button. There it goes. And if you just keep pressing and turning the controller, you can see it flies all over the place. And when you let go, it'll return back to its original position. So let's give it a second. Voila, like that, it's back. So cool. Over here, we have keyframe motion. This is super cool. You can make as many keyframes as you want. Hitting play starts the keyframe motion up, and then you can hit stop at any time to stop the motion and hit play to resume. Super duper cool. From build mode, you can see that there's all these triggers and these represent the position and the rotation that the object will go to. And all you need to do to make another one is just simply duplicate it up or to the position you want it. Make sure the rotation is right too. And then change the keyframe number. So we'll make this one six and now it's the six in the keyframe. When you're making a lot of keyframes, you're gonna to need to hit stop, reset, play to uh, get it to update correctly, but really quite cool. So we'll go ahead and delete that. It's still gonna keep that one in its list until you stop, reset the world. Awesome. Whoa, a projectile launcher and it's a staff, the mystic staff. You can see if you press trigger, you get a sound effect. You get the little projectile launching from it. Very cool. You can also throw it and it will return. Not like with the force, but it'll just return here. And we've got the video mic. So this is a super cool mic that we built. You can see red means it's off. You press your trigger finger, you get extended audio. The green turns on, press the bottom button and you're gonna get extended and press the top button on your controller, you get global audio and then you can also turn it off again. Very cool microphone and uh, also can be mic dropped. Super duper cool. Here we have doors. So these are some obviously small doors, but you can scale them. They're using uh, occupied and empty. So when your hand's inside, it doesn't interact when the next hand goes in. And uh, yeah, then it, when it's empty, it closes back. Very cool. Here we have object rotation. You can see this one here uses no physics and instant really returns. And this one here uses with physics and it will also return after three seconds. We used a lot of return scripts in here, as you can see, and it's all based off this basic object return right here. So you can see if I grab this object, it has instant return. And so all these objects that have these return scripts on have the option to be instant or delay, which is really awesome. I'm not sure where the 
ball went that's supposed to be here. Let's stop reset the world. I think it might have bounced out. Stop reset and play. Well, there it is. Okay, we've got it. So if we throw it in three seconds, it's going to return here. And theoretically, it's motion supposed to stop, but because it's on super ball, it's getting this really super bounce, which is totally fun, but uh, you might not want to use super ball. <laughs> then we've got a respawn script. So right now this is off the world as well, but you can just press this here and it responds you to the spawn point of the world. You can jump off and you'll also get respawned. Ooh, we've got scores. This is a ordered scoreboard. This is version two. It is uh, really, it's quite amazing. And it will order the player scores. Right now I have it set to assign a player with a random score value between zero and 10. So when you spawn into the world, you're given a random value and then the scoreboard is ordered. Um, you can obviously turn that off. What is this? Oh, this is Mega Text 3. You guys might remember Mega Text. Check out the video if you haven't already. It's awesome. But seriously, Mega Text 3, it just takes it a step further. We've got an additional 12 lines that you can write in here. I've put down everything I know about the uh, text here. So you can see bold, strike through, underline, italic, line breaks, red text. We have opacity. We have left a line, right a line, center a line, if you know those. I mean, just type right and center. It's super simple. Uh, we've got line height, so you can change the height between lines. Character spacing to change the space between characters. Superscript and subscript. We also have sprites, better known as emoji. And with that, you guys, this is the most amazing video essentials pack. If you'd like access, please just leave your name in the comments. But don't forget to like and subscribe. We are so close to a thousand. So very exciting. We will be having more videos coming out very soon soon explaining how we did some of this and uh yeah i mean there's there's gonna be some really great tutorials i can't wait to send the projectile launcher we'll probably get that one out sooner than later and thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask and we look forward to seeing you in horizon bye to start us off let's go ahead and build the first script you'll ever need excuse me lakes it's time for me to cut in i know you've got some other great things coming in here but we want to start this video with a very special tutorial and this is how we make a projectile launcher that respawns players oh snap that ricochet though oh okay, let's try it red for sassy because it's our homeboy's birthday Happy you're birthday, right sassy. today is sassy's birthday happy birthday sassy